and um, you can go ahead and uh, uh, get your orders placed. Again, when you log into your website, you're going to come up to the home page, which is going to look like this. And you're going to go ahead and um, click on your shopping cart. Now, I have a product that's already in there. These are some business cards that I already ordered. So you've got to start off by getting something into the shopping cart. And as you order your product and hit cart, it's going to populate over in your shopping cart. So I'm going to go ahead and it's showing me I've got one item that's in the cart now. And I'm going to go click view cart. And it's going to bring me up to my shopping cart and it's going to show me all the parts that I have that are ready to be ordered. And you can put multiple things into the shopping cart. You can put one thing into the shopping cart, whatever you feel comfortable with. And it's going to show me where the item is shipping to. This is all my standard information. And again, if you need to put different addresses in there, if you need to edit your account, you do that up under my account. Uh, and you can make whatever changes that you need to add, uh, make or you can add an additional address, uh, whatever you need to do. And then for shipping options, um, for example, like Punderson is really close to us, so they would probably pick local delivery. We also will shuttle it out to them. So if Punderson would pick local delivery, that means I'm going to take it out to them, or sometimes they'll even come and pick it up. And it's not uncommon for me to jump in the car and take things places as needed. I've seen Hinch in Columbus. I've been to Deer Creek. I've been to Maumee Bay. Uh, I've been to Salt Fork, uh, but I don't think I've been to Mohican yet. But again, so uh, if it's a really big order or something's going on special, you know, there are options. Generally, most of your product is going to go uh, UPS ground, and um, you're going to go ahead and select that as your shipping option. Um, the shipping may change a little bit uh, on the actual dollar amount uh, as we get the orders going. So, um, this is going to be a pretty close approximate, but as the boxes change in weight, there's fewer and more boxes. Um, so the shipping cost could change a little bit as you're going along. Um, the pieces and parts prices will stay the same. So if you order business cards and it's showing $48 for the business cards, that number won't change. But the shipping might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less, depending on how we end up packing up all your boxes. Um, so here is the part that I had already in my shopping cart. It's for uh, my business cards. Um, this is who they're for. They're for Derek Smithel. We're shipping it to the facility or whatever address you have on there. And it's showing me how many I'm ordering and the name of my facility. I can edit this order. Um, I can save this order for a later time by clicking that, which means that let's say I go ahead and I uh, wanted to put it into my card and I'm going to order it next week or next month or maybe some of you are hiring. Well, now we're not sure if we're going to hire them or not. At least it's there and you'll be able to go back to it. So I'm going to go back to the order again, which is right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add it back to my cart, which will basically take us full circle from where we were just at. So now it goes ahead and appears in my cart. I can go ahead and I can remove it. I can also edit my order as well as needed. So once you have it confirmed, ready to go, basically you're going to go ahead and you can either go back and order more products or you can proceed to checkout. And it's going to bring up this screen here for us. Uh, most of the parks don't have purchase orders, but if you'd like to use one or give us something to reference on the invoice, this is where you'd put it. And if there's anything else special here, I know that sometimes for the sales reps, we send um, brochures to various places. Some of the gals have different addresses for, for shipping versus their business cards. You know, those are the comments that you'd put in here and say, hey, don't forget, whatever it might be. Uh, and then for the payment method, it's going to be set. Our invoices will be like they always have been. This is, we'll bill product as it ships. And, um, and that will come in an email just like it's been. Uh, with some of the sites we set up, we switch them to credit cards, but you folks have been with us a long time, and it's fine. We're going to bill you, and they always pay. We've never had a problem in all the years. So um, when you get everything ready to go, you hit Submit Order, and it's going to email you a confirmation that the order has been placed, and, uh, and that's all you need to do. You can also follow along, check histories of orders as you're going through uh, to see what we have. It's a little bit hard right now because I don't want to put that order in because once I do, it's going to get manufactured. 
Uh, again, if any questions or something doesn't make sense, please let me know.